Hello guys, welcome back. This is Play, and today I'm going to show you a tree farm design. And um, recently, I I haven't been investigating on any tree farms though. But um, yeah, so I I've been um, watching hypercraft videos and um, especially about the love fellas or some some other things like that. And I come up with some ideas with tree farm. So um, let's just demonstrate how this works. Firstly, you have a block around like seven blocks or some, somewhere. Actually, that is um, six blocks tall, and you just place the sapling and let it grow. And then um, you'll get back saplings, or uh, and you can continue growing the tree, which is some very basic um, tree farm designs. And uh, you can actually use um, the dispenser as well. But um, if you have random ticks, um, to be set to around like um, four thousand or something, um, you can actually just let them go and without the dispenser. But the dispenser also needs to be there. I will just explain how, why, and how it works. So. Um, yeah, so I think that's actually quite simple and I'll just get to how to build it. So um, the first thing of course you need a dirt block which I just placed there and then um, you need some building blocks and quite a lot of redstone and pieces etc. Um, but the first thing of course you need a um, dispenser. The dispenser do not only has the function of shooting bone meal, it also acts as a function to um, detect whether the tree is grown. Um, just by having that here, you can actually have. Um, just a second. I'll just place down two um, droppers that would give you saplings back. And then, um, at this tree, as if the tree is grown, um, um, the wood locks would be here, and this resting comparator would just um, take the signal from the dispenser, so it would just work like um, to detect all whether the, the, the tree has grown or not. So um, this is the function of the this dispenser as well. If you do not need it, you still need to put a, um, a furnace or something like that. And then you will need to place a few blocks. Um, after that, you need to like s um, circle. I mean, you need to um, make a just surround the area with blocks because you need to put water in later. And I'll just do it like this. You just um, yeah, just around something like this. So um, the next thing is of course you need to place down water and um, the water is for um, getting your saplings back and to get them in into um, two hoppers and then yeah I just place down blocks to keep the water flow just a second. Okay the next thing you need to do is to place down blocks like this and just place a resonant repeater here and uh, this resonant repeater will not be trampled by by water bucket hopefully I think that yeah. so so um, the water will water stream will be here but um, the items will, will not be stuck here because um, when you are on uh, rest and repeater you are a little bit taller than you are in uh, you're on the block it's like one point uh, 0 0.125 blocks higher but um, it's still higher so items will not be stuck at this block so um, what you need next is to uh, implement the um, piston function you just place down four pistons like this by the way, I've also investigated most of the time that, um, well, most of the time, um, if you place down block at 
um, the seventh block above um, the third block. Any tree grown will not um, exceed uh, wood log of height five. I mean, exceed wood log of height four. So you actually only need to place down four pistons. So um, to activate the pistons, you need to put redstone of course, and then just run the redstone around here to uh, another stick piston, which creates a monostable stack just to make the form a little quicker. Just a second, monostable circuit, and then. Um, the monostable circuit cannot be one tick, it has to be two ticks in order to let the, um, let the rest of the torches um, react, have the time to react. And then you just need to place down, um, you can do it two ways, let me just show you how to power a few pistons. So for example you have four pistons, or actually five pistons, you have you only need to um, actually even six pistons, I believe. You can actually power using this method. So you can actually power six pistons in a row like this. And uh, yeah, it's actually quite convenient. And let me just do this. Let me just put um not gate here. So you can actually power six pieces and like that. I implemented the same thing here as well. Um I believe I what I did was something similar. So I oops it's like this and then uh this one. So um yeah just a second. What I did was um, something like this. So, um, whenever there is a block here, it will be pretty simple. And yeah, the rest is actually not complicated at all. And uh, let me see. So, let's see what would be interesting to do. Okay, so um, as you'll be standing at this block, and on the leaves from the tree will actually grow in your head and if that happens you cannot place down any saplings at that time until they decay so one way to solve that is to just place a button at your head which um, the leaves cannot over overtake and, and then you just actually just run the redstone of the um, of button upwards the level that um, is used to um, activate this uh, dispenser whenever you need so let me see should I use my stuff okay so you run the rest of like this and then what you need to do is to and you just place down rest on this. Okay, you place your rest on like this. And then um, you just place the block here and then to rest on. And then um, another repeater, I believe, here and here. And then you just put down a uh, stick piston where, where the other uh, not stick piston here. Okay, so just put down the stick piston um, to this side and then um, continue this um, resting signal with another repeater and block and place down blocks like this actually you need to place down blocks like, um, like this and then um, just place down two repeaters facing opposite directions and then place down redstone and another block like this. So whenever this activates, actually I still need to do just a second. What do I miss? Well I think um 
I just shift the whole thing a little bit uh, to the to the right to the left so uh, just a second I will come back and uh, I'll fix this so I've replaced blocks now um, you can see it's like this and then you just place a stick piston at this level to make um, make this thing uh, like a T flip flop so I'll just demonstrate uh, this part. Just a second. Let me just put a button here. And this was wrong. I need to face it upwards. Come on. Why is this so hard? Okay, this is upwards. And then we just push this button once. And um, this clock will go. And then we push it again. This clock will uh, stop. So we just run this signal down into this um, um, dispenser and before that we would um, like to store more of this kind of um, bone meal and then we just put not trapped chest, but actually just normal chest, put um, chest like here, actually you can put it here or here, it's just um, your choice and um, so the next thing is to um, run the rest of like this and then um, my belief is to again run the rest of like this let the rest of continue going downwards and then just um, Take the rest on the power signal from here, I guess. Yeah, so just take the rest on signal here and then just um, make the line go down. So, whenever you press this now, just go um, activate um, repeat, re repetitively again, and uh, when you press this again, just stop. So, it's quite simple and um, yeah, the next thing we need to do finish is to um, make the hopper thingy, which would be here. We actually should um, do this. Okay, so um, a few blocks, and then um, we can do it this way. Actually, um, could have done it like this. And uh, yeah. You could do this thing, and then you just um, detect whether there's blocks or actually items in the dropper, and then uh, just put a comparator here. And as I've mentioned before, you actually just need to put a um, crystal torch here, knock gate here, and then another knock gate. Here. and then just run the signal into itself with a delay of 2 we take delay here and then others just place redstone here 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 and one more I mean two more here and here so yeah, I think this is actually finished. And uh, let's just try this. We will have some oak saplings, and then you just place them down. Just wait for them to grow. So, um, whenever the trees grow, it be um, the blossom will be shot out to side and um, when you stand at this level you'll get your saplings back and there's more than what you have planted the number of trees you have planted let me just try this a few times just one more so um, just a second so um, there was 16 saplings, but we planted 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, actually, seventeen. Um, we've planted seven trees, but um, we've got se seventeen oak saplings back. So it's actually quite efficient on um, getting saplings as well. And uh, yeah, so I believe it would be um, quite simple tree farm. So I recommend all of you guys trying this out. Um, this time I will not tear them out on, on block by block. This is a little bit too annoying. So, just set this. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, that's all for this um, tree farm. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions about the tree farm. And I think it is actually quite compact. So be sure to check it out or just try it in your home. And also check my other videos like um, the wardrobe. I just yesterday I just released. And uh, slime block elevator, and other elevators, etc. Stuff. So, yeah. So I hope you guys have um, enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.